Can the Los Angeles Lakers compete with the Denver Nuggets for the 2023-2024 NBA Championship? The reason we're asking that question is because uh, LeBron James had a speech at the SPs and uh, Darvin Ham was in attendance and then they asked him about the Lakers' chances the next half season and um, he was talking greasy, he was talking that shit. Here's what he had to say. First of all, he took a shot at coach uh, Mike Malone. He said, that's what they call him now, the Lakers' daddy. So that's what he said. And then he said, this shit ain't over about the, the Nuggets. We're going to be right back. We're not supposed to lay down. We're going to compete and go out there and get this championship next season. And um, I got to say, I understand what he would say that. And uh, you can't really take him at face value when it comes to these quotes, right? Because um, as a coach, he's probably trying to uh, light up a fire under his team and uh, pretty much get the, the competition started making sure, you know, the guys that just joined, they know why they're here. We're here for championship, nothing, nothing less, you know. So you got to set the trend, right? And it's also kind of an answer to uh, Coach Mike Malone who was talking shit during the, um, the Nuggets parade. He got drunk. I can't remember what he said, but he took a few shots at the Lakers. You know, nothing crazy, but he just took the shot. So I guess that's an answer. But when it comes to talking facts, though, I mean, the Lakers got swept by the Denver Nuggets. And although the Denver Nuggets lost Bruce Brown, which was a key piece most definitely, uh, and they haven't really replaced him like that with a quality, with a quality role playing or, or whatsoever. The Lakers, they added Gabe Vincent. Uh, they brought back uh, Vendo, uh, Jaron Vanderbilt. Uh, they added Cam Reddish. Uh, who else they added? Jackson Hayes. You know, so, so they got better. They did get better. They brought back D'Lo, Austin Reeves, and Rui Hachimura too. So they did get better. Did they get that much better that they can cover up for a sweep? With LeBron James getting one year older. Although, you know, it, there was some speculation that his foot was uh, was pretty much messing with him. So we anticipate him coming back healthy. But do you trust LeBron James going into year 21 to remain healthy the whole year? I don't know. And I'm a LeBron James fan, but... Let's just be realistic, right? AD has yet to take that step to become the leader night in and night out of the Los Angeles Lakers. And I just don't see at this point why this would happen this offseason, you know. Like, he'll show you one game that he can be a top five player. But in the other game, he'll go out there and play great defense. He will do that, but he'll give you 12 points. And that's just not enough. So can AD actually compete with Nikola Jokic better than what he did last year? I just don't see why that would happen. Now, uh, is Gabe Vincent an, uh, um, an upgrade over Dennis Schroeder? I believe so, because overall, if you look at the playoff run, he, he wasn't good in the finals. But let's not forget that the man did hurt his ankles in the conference finals. But uh, in the totality of the player fronts of the Miami Heat, uh, Gabe Vincent was the third best player, hands down, in my opinion. So he will definitely help the Lakers. The, the man can take and make big shots. He's not scared. He also has pretty solid basketball IQ. He will make the right passes. Sometimes he kind of heaves the, the, the shots a little bit too much, in my opinion. But he's still better than Schroeder at this point. Uh, Austin Reeves, is he really him or is he not? We don't know. If he comes back and he keeps improving, then maybe the Lakers have a chance. But we, I don't know that. Because over that 30 game to 40 game uh, towards the end of the season sample size, the man was amazing, right? But you, we can't forget the first part of the season on which he was just a decent role player. So let's see about that. How well does he play when he comes back, right? And then we have Rui Achimura. In the playoffs, the man was shooting them at 50% from, from three in the playoffs. Is that realistic? Probably not. I'm not saying he's going to just come out next season and stunk up the joint, right? But he's just not going to shoot that well, probably. So I anticipate like a decrease in the productivity from him. And now, uh, I, be, I believe that was pretty much all the main Lakers players. Oh, yeah, they still got D'Lo. And D'Lo can help, but against the Nuggets, man, with Jamal Murray, we just saw it. Just, he just can't be out there. He can't defend, and for whatever reason, he can't even score on Jamal Murray. So he's not going to be a factor, you know, in a head-to-head -head matchup. And if we look on the Nuggets side, I mean, they got the best player in the league, in my opinion, now in Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray will just keep on ascending because that, that, that confidence that he got by that playoff run, man, I, I just don't see why he wouldn't keep ascending, keep on getting better. That's another year under his belt. 
uh, getting healthier and healthier and yeah that that man is just nasty so he's amazing you got that then you got mpj who wasn't great in my opinion during that playoff run but who is still very young with a very high ceiling so if he taps in just a little bit into what he can be a little bit more oh man the league is in trouble kcp will still be on there making shots same with aaron gordon man that man is still ascending he's still finding his way through the denver nuggets system and he gets better by the day with Nikola Jokic. So if he keeps on improving, it's over. And even when it comes to a head-to-head -head, uh, matchup of coaches, I like Coach Malone better than Darvin Ham. It is not even close. The man is better with his skills. He's a better communicator. He looks like a better motivator. Has the respect of the locker room. And when it comes to in-game adjustment, Darvin Ham is no uh, slouch in, the, in, the, in that regard. But I like Mike Malone better. And I have yet to see a Mike Malone starting lineup when I was like, oh, what is this? And Darvin Ham definitely did that a few times. Hell, he actually did it in the conference finals against the Nuggets when he would just start like a baby lineups full of guards, all small against the Nuggets, who was the better rebounding team in the playoffs but yeah that's all i had to say about this whole thing man um get in the comment section give me your thoughts do you believe that the lakers actually got so much better that they could overtake the nuggets last next year and yeah appreciate you guys for checking me out see you boys later peace